Welcome to Quantum Conundrum. It's a portal style um, game. It's basically a mind fuck or mind blowing game. Let's just start so I won't complicate too much. Uh, the basic. Time, let's listen to the story. Start, yes. A sister took pity on her brilliant, prolific, and incredible brother. She had somehow gotten it in her head that he might be lonely, or at least that's what she claims. And so, on a perfectly fine, productive Friday afternoon, the sister picked up her son from the Elwood Academy for Boys and dropped the aggravating child off on my... Uh, the, the brother's doorstep. Now you, I mean, the boy, had visited Quadrangle Manor on a few occasions. Each time was complete with a grand entrance from the brother, who was in fact a professor and inventor with a profound and soaring intellect. With each visit, the inventions he exhibited became more slick and cutting edge. The boy eagerly awaited the revealing of the professor's latest contrivance, but this, the most captivating of visits, started a bit differently. And, well, you heard the well, let's basic see, I story. Figure the transdimensional velocity regulator at approximately nice. This will be a uh, let's play of this game because it's, I think it's really awesome and I hope you will like it as possible. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, basically, this is a kind of kind of noob uh, professor. Ah, uh, here you go. We press the button and it's open. A bit noob professor because he got himself a bit sticky. What was that? In some strange dimension. Oh, good. Uh, okay. Be a safety release for the door here we go. Yeah, yeah. We are high enough. You are no, basically no, playing no, a no, little no, no, boy. No, no, no. Ah! And the professor has gone somewhere. Oh, okay. Okay, that's um, fluffy. <laughs> oh. Okay, well, um, I like the yeah, the energy, the flowing stuff. The security uplink on my watch still seems to work, so I can see you and hello, you you, you can hear yes, me. Yes, right? I'm jumping, I'm Jump jumping. A bit if you can. Ah, it seems as if I can still tap into the intercom system. Well, I most certainly hmm. can do better than this. Testing, 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 testing. 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 Come on, come on, testing. Professor, stop talking. Oh, much better. Uh. Now. Okay, I'm not the biggest fan of the preludes of talking and playing well, nothing. So, ah, bump on the head. Bump okay, on the head. come to on, stop talking. Yourself, Let's play. Let's play this some more. game. A way to the I like the graphics, though. They look. Um, Quite, I don't know, not fluffy, but we could say. Hmm, nice. The cartoon is time. Last I remember, I was in the new technology sector, and then. I don't know. Oh, Professor, you, you must be senile. Ah, nice. A big hole. If you head over to my nice office over on the left, pictures. you should be able to restart the manor's power grid. Tum -tum -tum. Okay. So this is probably the power room. Oh yeah, the switch. Well, that wasn't as effective as I'd hoped. Oh. Okay. Hood dot. Reactivate the generators in each sector in order to lift the current lockdown. Hmm. Just I guess it's a bit, uh, a bit buggy because I'm just moving forward without with pressing anything. Now okay. I wish you could see my facial expression right now, as I am not. What you are oh, holding yeah. is an early prototype of the interdimensional ship ah. device, or IDS device Damn. for short. This professor must it's be retro. Piece of my Who uses you? That should come we, we just get it? You know, because it's a glove. <laughs> um. Okay. Aha. Uh -huh. 
So I think we need to go to the if you can access the generator room? at the back of each wing, we might be able to lift the only one open on the rest of the house. Well, it seems let's as see. if the breaker did unlock the blue wing. Well, I suppose you should start there first. Where is the blue wing? Okay, I guess it ain't here, so... Ah. Hey, blue wing, where are you? Ah, probably in the... <laughs> in with the blue doors. Ah, yes. Fisher Michelson, one of the initial major investors in Quadrangle Industries. He looks like a Bill Gates. A bit... Well... Details, details. Hmm. So... Oh, damn it. Where is the... Ah! So obvious. <laughs> I complicate too much, I guess. There's something I must tell you, my... Latest invention has required me to make a few adjustments to the house since the last time you barged in. Uh, Let's open the doors. Dun, 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 dun. Now, one of the topics that our family has been studying for several generations are rifts existing between various dimensions. I've been able to develop a power source that will channel enough energy into one of these dimensional rifts that oh. it can be widened enough to the frozen through. Shutter or whatever. Well. Hello, nice night. Controls the power source, which allows you to travel to whichever dimension has rifts in the area. There's a the mega glove. glove you're wearing on the wall. Oh, really? You won't have Stating control the, of the ability to switch dimensions yet. Just be patient. Come on, come on. Ah, this is a robot. I think. This door is using one of my inventions. The repetitive, periodic, articulating Gruy Day. Gruy Day. Or a drinking bird. <laughs> Except it's far more advanced. Uh, well, because your glove is an early prototype, it has a few limitations in terms of ah, dimension Katie. accessibility and the distance it can be from a receptacle in order to function. Uh, she's in perspective. This okay. is such an we shall see experiment what with this dimensional means? shifting, so I decided to have it triggered remotely with the drinking bird. Instead of operating a door, the bird will trigger a dimensional shift. Hmm. Okay. There's an IDS ah. battery in the machine that will power the dimensions. Which Logical in this enough. case is a fluffy dimension. Oh, in addition to fluffy. fluffy being embarrassingly adorable, it's also rather useful because everything is ten times lighter than normal. Well, basically, we just move the safe, jump, jump, and that's it. It's a bit too Though easy, that I'd looks say. Like a but regular okay. scale, it is in fact a portable kinetic mass to electricity converter. Oh, the complications. Okay, let's see. We use this in this and we there's that lovely bird. Okay. Sometimes I simple as possible. Hmm. I could maybe make this a speeder. Something to note. <laughs> Since you're holding a version of the IDS device, you oh. in fact are oh. not you in an alternate dimension. Let me try that again. You remain constant, so no matter the dimension, he complicates your mass, too much. shape, speed, and trying personality ah, remain. Here we have the device. The receptacle will distribute the power. We press E and we make a fluffy dimension. Now use and your IDS device voila. to switch dimensions at your pleasure. As I Quite simple. You press Q, E, one, three, four. Alternating different the dimensions, so. It's quite a simple pr principle. This is what enables you to slip between dimensions when you're wearing the IDS glove. Ta -da -da -da. And a ah, hooking stuff. Dolly. Dynamic object linear oh, ligation yeah. interface. To you, a cloning device. I like my <laughs> house just so. So I decided to add functionality to her to keep everything consistent. Oh, Sala. Uh, Need to tune that later. Voila! We press C and 
Yeehaw. Everything works as it should. Tada! I think the tutorial, or well, kind of tutorial, is a little bit too simple on the start, but well, we shall see. Hmm. These okay. are my own particular hybrid beams of carbon dioxide and uh, don't go to the these beams because they kill you. Using an alternating ray configuration gives them an extra kick. Hmm. And what's the plan here? Ah. So we oh. Mm, ah, right click is for throwing stuff, so well working. Unfortunately ah. the breaking of this glass is a necessary mm. evil. I saw Don't this one. Take that as permission to do it elsewhere. It's a bit annoying if you ask me but uh, nevertheless I think this this is correct. But now I'm not entirely sure. So I think we take this up. At least I hope so. Um, nope, nope. Wait, we... Hmm. Ah! I'm bloody nope. Okay. <clears throat> ah, just letting you know that you reset the glass. Ah! Thank you. Ah, no, 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 no. We press this to be... Ah, crap. My bad, wrong button. <laughs> uh -huh, I think I must first take the laughy thingy and then... Okay, we take it. We take it down. Hello, Mr. Lightsafe. Oh. We put it down, we ran back up and the door should open. And with this I would uh, also end the uh, first part of the let's play Quandrupunk Quandrum or whatever is it said and works. And we shall continue another time, hope you like it and you like the graphics and commentary and everything else, if not hate me and comment about it. Enjoy people!